video for eBay sellers uh, and I want to tell you the system that we've put in place to protect ourselves that once our items go out the door um, if a buyer ends up saying that they're not when they arrive that they're not okay there's a way for any buyer to do that and if it's a legitimate issue you know that it's addressed right inside eBay there are however a handful of people that um, end up trying to switch out items and say that your item wasn't described as it was in the listing and when they get it it's different but they're actually giving you back a broken or a different item and I've had that happen a couple of times it's very disturbing um, this is a perfect example this had four figures in it and in my three pictures inside my listing I listed this little ferris wheel with all the pictures in it um, and it was brand new and it comes inside this box and the buyer claimed the day she got it that it wasn't as described that there was a figure missing because in this one there is but this is hers and it's hers in the box and this buyer didn't know that we mark all our items and in our items there's a way to mark any little mark anywhere on them you can do it on the back of the neck you can do it on under something you can do it in a corner you can do any kind of markings and that's what all sellers need to do to protect themselves because of course if something is legitimate we want to take care of it if it's damaged in shipping we're insured and then we can file a claim but we don't want to file any claims that aren't necessary or that are fraudulent because it goes against everybody and everybody has to pay for that I had another buyer that bought my brand new Madame Alexander doll and switched it for this one. And this is a doll that was played with. The little headband that's supposed to be tight on the head was all screwed up. The shoes were dirty and she switched it out for my perfect doll. And, um, you know, that was another thing that happened this year. And then there's another one of a perfectly beautiful nightgown um, that was sold. We On one of our stores, we sell very intimate, beautiful things like this. And they're non-returnable because they're intimate. And this buyer ripped this one all the way up the back. I don't know if you can see it, but she ripped it. And then she sent it back saying, not as described. But you know obviously I didn't sell an item like that and the tags were gone the rip was there the bra was poked through um, so I had to upload all these pictures of this into the site to alert eBay that this type of thing is going on and it isn't the majority it's a very small percent but sellers we have to protect ourselves so that our integrity and our honor inside our store and inside our own business within eBay um, gets to uphold itself and so that th when these types of things happen they're minimal and they're handled and we at least alert eBay that that's happening. Um, the majority of people that shop on here are delightful and wonderful and they take really good care of their stuff and they praise you and they thank you but there are people here that misuse the feedback system and they try and force you to take these switched and broken things back as a way to get them for free without paying for them and eBay is becoming more aware of it and they're working with sellers more on it to curb it and to not let that be how the experience is for everybody because it does take a thing where it ruins the site and I've been a seller for a while it's exhausting and it's maddening because you know who you are and what you have and what you sell and when someone does this it's just it, you just sit there and shake your head going how can they be that crazy and I don't know but there's some people that they won't take any responsibility when something in their own life breaks and they feel an entitlement to get something else for free and then they try it on here but you can report them now there's a way to turn them in there's a way to upload the photographs uh, inside the listing where you can show that it doesn't match the one that you sold and buyers uh, sellers do report the buyers because if you cave and you pay them and you don't do anything about it to keep your score okay they go from one to the other to the other and they start with these little five dollar amounts and then they get to big 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 amounts and they they they've gotten away with it in some cases for so long they're you know they're in items over the hundreds but the thing is that it takes away the fun of selling and it takes away the spirit of the site and so i am working with all the sellers that i know and I'm putting this video up to make sure that we have a system and, and here's another thing now we make this and this is original but I marked it anyway because all you have to do is a stitch or a dot or something so that if anybody just happened to have this and copy it I can still prove which one's mine 
um, and unfortunately it's just a way of the times. You know, if you're in the mall, there's all kinds of security systems against theft and there's those little tags when you go out the, the store and some places have cameras and things like that. On the internet, there's really nothing. So we sort of have to get inventive and just make it part of the business and part of the selling experience that we know how to protect ourselves when we sell our own merchandise out the door. And if you're selling clothing or anything like that, you can mark it inside the neck, inside the underseam, in the back, anywhere on the bottom. Just put one little thing on it to make sure that you know that it's yours. And this can be a red mark, a blue mark, a, a black mark, anything, even a stitch, a single stitch on a thread, as long as you have some way that you have identified that as your item going out the door. Because there's even some buyers that go buy cheap things that they see on eBay and then they wait until they see them again for more money and they figure they'll switch that one in that condition for the one in the great condition and they'll do that. And so you're not going to be able to stop it, but you can handle it and we can alert eBay about it. And we can protect our own selves by saying, by taking a stand and saying, you know what, this isn't the one that I shipped you. And the reason I can prove that is because I've marked my item. And so you can mark it anywhere on the item in order to establish that it's the one that you shipped out. And it's likely something they'll never be able to figure out because it's your own system. Um, I've had people look at the things that I shipped and say, there's no mark on here. And I'm like, yeah, there is. And it's just because I'm so good at where to mark it. Um, and put the little mark on there that they can't figure it out. But I know what's mine, and that's how I stay and survive in business. And you really have to have a backbone on here, and it's hard. But this is, again, the small percent. But the, the only way to fix it is to address it, give it a name, call it what it is, and go report it and have eBay help take care of it. And it shouldn't be held against the sellers when these types of things happen. And um, I've heard that eBay's working on fixing their feedback system uh, to improve some of these fraudulent comments left um, by buyers that wanted to command that you do something and do a switch. And supposedly they're in the process of doing it. And I hope they do because it makes their site look bad. And when, you, when they do anything like take down their top rated seller status because you've had so much fraud and um, you know, they change that on you when it's not your fault, that makes them look bad. So I'm hoping that they fix it and change it and that next year's a better year. Um, the popularity of the item determines a lot of how much fraud's going to be in that category. And a couple of categories just have so much, I'm not going to sell them anymore. It's just too discouraging. And it's sad because I would have thought that there would just be this joyous reaction and people be overjoyed to get something beautiful. But you have this market of people that's taking advantage of that. And when anything has more negative than positive, there's plenty of other things to do and sell, and that's what you have to go to. And that's what I do. I don't let that get to me. I just say, well, I'm not going to fit, I'm not going to do that right now and maybe I, I can come back to it but I'm going to do something else that's more fulfilling and walk away because you can get very very tangled into the situation especially if you've invested your money and you want to recoup it um, but sometimes you just need to take a break and pick it back up maybe when there's a better process in place and I hope and pray that eBay gets on board this year and starts protecting sellers more and making it safer so that when these types of things happen they are just addressed right away and um, put down uh, and, and not allowed to be affecting anything on the site. Um, hopefully uh, a lot of people will just start to do things right and better and you know it's a it's a crime. Um, I talked to the police over this item, and um, they told me that when you try to get something for free, it's larceny. When you're planning not to pay it, even if it's on the internet, it's actually larceny. So if you end up um, doing it, you know, it shouldn't be allowed anywhere. But what happens is eBay's trusting that the item actually didn't arrive the way that it was supposed to. They're not assuming that a buyer switched it. So it takes a lot to get to prove that that actually happened. And one of the only ways you can actually prove these, you know, items that are manufactured the same is that your, your mark is on it somewhere so that you can prove that was the one that you shipped out and you can tell them exactly where it is and what the mark that you put on it is. And that way you can determine that it's yours. And, um, 
that's the best advice I can give to anybody is to just make it safe uh, as we go forward into 2013. And if you have to take a break from a certain line that there's just having too much problems within it, go do something else where there isn't because there's plenty of things to sell on there. And I want everyone to have a good 2013 and thank you very much. Okay.